So Banggood, an e-commerce website, sent out a review unit of the latest DT70 smartwatch by a brand called DT1 for my unbiased opinion. And this smartwatch, as you read in the title, has a lot of too good to be true features like fully functional rotating crown to navigate around the rotary style menu, ECG, Bluetooth on wrist audio call, wireless charging and many more features for a budget price range. So let's find out if this smartwatch stands up to its offering. As you're watching with Stu and if it's your first time here, thank you so much for clicking. Here's our review smartwatches, smartphones and all sort of tech. So if you're into tech, you must consider subscribing. Let's start with price and availability. You can find a direct link with a special discount for this smartwatch on Banggood from the links in the video description. And at the time of filming this video, it is listed for only 78 Canadian dollar. The price may vary at seller's discretion or any discounts. Banggood does ship worldwide, so be sure to use the links provided in the video description. Now I have done an unboxing video of this DT70 smartwatch on my second YouTube channel like I do for a ton of tech reviews on this channel so be sure to check out and subscribe to my second YouTube channel for short form video content but in terms of unboxing it's minimalist. Nothing remarkable. Inside the box you get the smartwatch itself, a wireless charger, user manual and an extra silicon wristband as this leather wristband is not good for exercise and swimming. The setup process was relatively simple. You have to download the app named Wear Pro app, which is available for free on Apple App Store and Android Play Store. You can create an account directly from the app to store all your health data in case if you were to switch smartphones or devices. The app is pretty self-explanatory with four tabs to navigate around. The first one is the dashboard where you can find all your health data. Sports is where you can track workouts like running, walking, bike ride and hiking as the smartwatch does not have GPS so your phone can track the GPS data and your watch can measure the biometrics. Under devices you'll find your connected smartwatch with options like watch face, find my watch which sadly only vibrates the watch. I really wish it would make the watch ring out loud but hey at least it's there. Take a photo. Here is where you can use the smartwatch as a remote control to click pictures from this app which is handy feature to have. Tilt to wake, incoming call and SMS. Make sure these two are turned on in order to be able to take on wrist calls and receive notifications. Under app notifications you can customize which app you want to be notified for. Heart rate monitoring, ECG, Frequent contact is where you can add up to 20 contacts which you can dial directly from the watch without needing your phone. Bluetooth call, my QR code for selected apps. Under more you'll find do not disturb mode, alarm, sedentary and water reminder settings. Lastly it's firmware update and unpair. Under the last tab you'll find your account information, personal information, unit goal and option to log out. Alright, with the app being done, let's have a look at the watch and its design. The watch looks stunning on my 6 inch wrist. I have the silver color stainless steel body with a light brown leather wristband which is removable and it's 22mm. So any 22mm aftermarket wristband should work on this watch. But you can also get a black stainless steel body with black leather band or a stainless steel mesh wristband. The front design is quite resembling to my Huawei Watch GT2 minus the rotating crown which is similar to the Fossil Gen 5. But hey this is a budget smartwatch and honestly the rotating crown isn't that smooth as compared to Fossil Gen 5 but it works. Now at the back boy this watch looks similar to the Galaxy Watch 3. Okay, this too seems to be the ECG lead, but hey, stick around at the end as I will test out these sensors against an FDA approved medical device. There is a speaker for taking on wrist calls and the microphone is at the top. So overall, this watch looks amazing and just like me, you'll be easily mesmerized by the look of this watch. Now let's briefly talk about the specs. Pause this video to read through all the specs of this watch. This watch has a 1.39 inch IPS HD touch screen with 454 pixel resolution and 326 pixel density. The display is quite bright even outdoors under the sun. But sadly this watch does not have the always on display. 
This watch is IP68 water resistance with Bluetooth 5.0, heart rate, ECG, and G sensor. But this watch does not have Wi Fi, LTE, GPS, NFC, which is expected for the price you pay. This watch is 45 by 11.5 millimeter in dimension. This watch has a 280 milliamp power battery size. It's good enough for five to seven days with moderate use and it takes about two hours to fully charge. But the cool part is the magnetic wireless charging. Now I did test out this watch with other wireless chargers and it somehow does not charge with any chargers except the one included inside the box. Now the magnet is not that strong so you need to be careful to put the watch securely on the charger on an even surface as it's super easy to break the connection. I really wish they could have used a stronger magnet. Now let's talk about the navigation and user interface of this watch. The top button is to go back from any screen. The bottom button is a shortcut to work out. And the center rotating crown is for navigating around. And it's quite robust as well as well integrated with all the apps. From the main watch face screen, slide down to access quick settings like watch info, settings, brightness control, QR code along with time, day, battery level and Bluetooth connection icon. Now from the main watch face screen, slide right to access unique menu which I have never seen on any smartwatch and it looks really cool which shows time, day, date along with 5 recently opened app shortcuts. You can also access notification and shortcut to call. I really like this menu. Now from the main watch face screen, when you slide left, you can access widgets like health statistics, heart rate, weather, music control and breathing exercise sessions. Lastly, when you slide up from the main watch face screen, you will get to the menu, which you can also access by pressing the rotating crown button. The menu includes apps like phone, message, contact, call record, all these can be used to make calls. Health data, workout, heart rate, ECG, music, sleep, stopwatch, which is good to have and works great. Weather, where you can only check the current weather, no forecast, unfortunately. QR code, calculator, again, another good app to have and it works really great. Find my phone, which also works every single time provided the watch is in the Bluetooth range of the phone. Meteorological data which shows UV ray strength and atmospheric pressure which I doubt it to be true as this watch does not have a barometer. Anyways next is breathing. Massage which is a bit strange where this watch just vibrates to its maximum strength to give your wrist a gentle massage. Menu style. Here is where you have 5 different styles of menu which is a lot. I haven't seen this many menu styles on any smartwatch. Comment down below your favorite menu style. Style number one is just list style menu. Style number two is a unique inward outward floating bubble menu. Style three is an Apple Watch like menu which is what I really like. Style four is another floating app tray symmetrically organized unlike the Apple's hexagonal style menu. Style five which is a rotary style menu which is also my favorite and it's just like the Samsung Galaxy Watch's rotary style menu. So this one budget watch will give you a feel of using all those premium watches and surprisingly the rotating crown works great and kudos for that. Lastly it's setting where you'll find language, watch face change, screen time, vibration intensity, password. Here's where you can lock this watch with a custom code so nobody can access sensitive data like notifications or make a call without your permission, which is very unique. Not a lot of budget smartwatches offer these features. Lastly, factory reset and Bluetooth settings. Guys, if you made it this far in the video, I thank you so much for sticking around. Please smash that like button and hit that subscribe button. Come on guys, it won't cost you a dime and in doing so, you won't miss out any upcoming videos. Now let's test out the music control. The cool part is that this player can trigger a music playback without reaching out to your phone and the music can play from the watch's built-in speaker. You can change this from your phone. You can skip a track forward or backward but boy the speaker quality is great. Hear it out. 
The only caveat is that it cannot control the volume and since the speaker is placed at the back of the watch, when this watch is on your wrist, it does sound a bit muffled. I really wish it was on the side or somewhere where it won't be hampered. Now in terms of watch faces, this watch really stands out from other budget smartwatches which only offer few watch faces. But this DT70 smartwatch, you can get 100 plus watch face option. The cool part is you can just use the rotating crown to switch watch faces which is very snappy and fast. Now to add more watch faces, you have to go on the mobile app and under devices, you'll find watch face tab. And here is where you find a ton of watch faces. And you can select any of these watch faces for free and push it onto the watch. The pushing process is really slow but hey, you don't have to do that every single time. So I'm really happy with the number of watch face options you get on this watch. Now let's talk about calls and notifications. So you can get notifications from pretty much any app even when paired with an iPhone but you can't reply or interact with any notifications. Also you can't get iMessages and that's not to blame this smartwatch but any smartwatch other than Apple Watch won't be able to do that. Now any special character message, emojis or pictures won't be displayed, only text will be displayed and you can't even read a full message. But hey, at least you can see the message at a glance and reach out to your phone if it's important. Now in terms of calls, you can receive a regular Bluetooth audio call. The cool feature is that the watch will play a ringtone of your phone and vibrate, giving you an option to answer or decline. When you answer, you can talk directly from the watch. The watch will also display the contact name and number with volume control option. The speaker and microphone quality is good based on my testing and for this price range, I don't expect it to sound like my Apple Watch but I can assure you that it does what it's supposed to be but keep in mind if the watch is on the wrist, it would sound a bit muffled due to the speaker placement. Another cool feature is you can even receive calls from third party apps straight on the watch like Viber and it works great about the same as a regular Bluetooth audio call, so kudos for that. By the way, this is not even possible on certain premium smartwatches. So finally, let's talk about health and fitness tracking and wrap this video up with my final say. This watch offers breathing exercise where you can take one to three minute breathing sessions and I can appreciate their attention to detail like this watch provides you a vibratory feedback on inhalation so you don't have to look at the watch screen every single time while you're breathing. This watch also has sleep tracking and it does track the start and end time along with light and deep sleep but there were occasions where this watch did not even record the sleep at all. This watch does have heart rate sensor but it does not have continuous background heart rate monitoring and from my testing against this FDA approved O2 ring for which I have done a full review linked up in the card section you can check it out once you're done watching this one. The readings were not accurate. More importantly I even took this watch against my Apple Watch Series 6 and these are the pictures half the way during my intermittent treadmill run and you can see there is a significant difference between the heart rate reading. It's almost like this watch did not record my heart rate at all. Also at the end of my 15 minute intermittent run this watch recorded 135 calorie 1.8 kilometer distance and 1647 steps versus the Apple Watch Series 6 recorded 157 calories 1.2 kilometers and 1571 steps. So I wouldn't recommend this watch for heart rate and workout but it's about okay in terms of distance and steps. Now this watch does not have the SpO2 that is the blood oxygen sensor or blood pressure monitoring but it does have ECG which is a gimmick and I can't even recommend you guys to use its ECG as here is an ECG reading from this watch and I can't even discern a single normal waveform from this reading. Here is how a normal ECG wave should look like and here is my ECG reading that I took with this 2 lead Pulsebit EX ECG monitor which I have compared it against Apple, Samsung and Fitbit's ECG and it outperformed all those smartwatches and the video is linked at the end. So I really wouldn't recommend this watch for ECG. However, for a good quality budget ECG smart tracker, I would recommend you guys this More Pro V19 ECG fitness tracker and its full review is linked at the end of this video. 
So here's my final verdict. Despite of its shady ECG and heart rate sensor, I still would recommend this watch as for just 60 US dollar, you get a stunning smartwatch design with stainless steel body, leather wristband, extra silicon strap, wireless charging, fully functional rotating crown with five unique style of menu layout, all the basic needed apps like alarm, stopwatch, weather, calculator, find my phone, breathing exercises, etc. Ability to take and make an on wrist Bluetooth audio call even from third party apps. Ability to get notifications from all the apps even when paired with an iPhone. Ability to use the watch as a Bluetooth speaker for music playback. 100 plus watch faces with ability to customize them with your own custom image. Decent 5 plus day battery life with a bright display. Many of these features are not even available on other budget smartwatches. So if above mentioned features are what you really want, then this DT70 smartwatch will be a worth purchase for you. And in that case, make sure to check out the links in the video description. Also, show me some love by hitting that like button and consider subscribing for such detailed tech reviews. That's it for today's episode. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, check these videos out as you may find them enticing.